How wonderful to see many of you, so many of you here. This must surely be the only show in town that can rival what's going on up the road today. <laughs> um, welcome to this inaugural lecture on the theme of forgiveness and reconciliation. My name is Edward Sturton. I present radio programmes for the BBC. And I am extremely honoured to be asked to chair this event. The Forgiveness Project, which is organising this event, describes its mission as exploring forgiveness and conflict resolution through the stories of real people. And I don't think they could have found a better person to talk about those themes than our inaugural lecturer today. Archbishop Tutu won't remember this because he was occupied with rather more important things at the time, but I had the privilege of meeting him really quite a long time ago. I'd been sent to South Africa to cover the release of Nelson Mandela. And I was working for ITN in those days, and we'd set up a satellite truck outside Nelson Mandela's house in Soweto, and Archbishop Tutu very kindly said he'd be interviewed live on News at 10. So a producer was dispatched to fetch him from his house, which should have been an easy task because it was just up the road, but the streets were absolutely full of people celebrating what had just happened. And the producer described what happened when he came onto the street with the Archbishop. The crowd went completely mad, picked him up and hoisted him on their shoulders. And the producer had been told that his career depended on delivering the Archbishop to the link, to the live position, so he clung on like grim death and was himself borne aloft through the streets of Soweto. The um, subject, or rather I should say the question that he's going to address today is, is violence ever justified? And we've also got with us three panellists, each of whom has very direct personal experience in this area. Jo Berry is the daughter of Sir Anthony Berry, who of course was killed in the Brighton bomb. Patrick McKee is the IRA man who planted that bomb. And we're also joined by Mary Blewett, who lost 50 members of her family in the Rwandan genocide and has just written a book about that experience and its meaning called You Alone May Live. Archbishop Tutu is going to talk to us for about 25 minutes and then I'm going to ask each of our panellists to respond for about five minutes to what they've heard and then perhaps ask them a couple of questions and throw things open to you and I hope we'll have time for a good conversation involving your questions and thoughts that you may have having heard the, uh, the lecture and the responses. I'm sure, I don't need to tell you, turn off your telephones, please don't take photographs during the event, we'd be grateful if you didn't. Can you now welcome our lecturer, Archbishop Tutu, and our panellists to the stage. Thank you so very much. Now, you are expecting a miracle if you place a preacher in front of a podium with a captive audience uh, and, and you expect what did you say? 25? 25. Is that all right? I mean, how can you do this to me? Uh, you, you don't know, you might know the story of the, the preacher who went on and on for a long time, uh, eventually said, uh, what more can I say? And somebody in the back of the church said, Amen. <laughs> it, it is... It is such a very great privilege to have been invited to, to speak here. Uh, and I really want to commend Marina and all of those who work with her on this quite extraordinary project, the Forgiveness Project. 